If I had a local business and needed to get more customers ASAP, this is exactly how I would run ads on Google. Now, the reason I'm making this video is that I run an advertising agency called Jet Ads. I've been in the advertising game for over eight years and I understand ads inside and out in over 50 plus different niches. I've seen ad accounts of all different companies, of all different brands, successful, unsuccessful, big and small. And so I wanna show you exactly how I would run ads if I had a low budget or even a medium sized budget or even a large budget, how I'd run ads for a local business to generate as many customers as I wanted in the shortest amount of time possible. I'm gonna show you inside my ad account exactly how I'd create the ads, step-by-step, step, super beginner friendly so you can follow along, do this with me, create these ads and generate a ton of leads for your own business so that you can grow on autopilot. Okay, here we are in a Google ad account. Now, hopefully you've already created a Google ad account. If you haven't, I have other videos on the channel related to how to create a Google ad account. So look those up, go ahead and create this. And you wanna to come to this dashboard, which is gonna look like this. Now, the first thing that we're going to want to do is to create a search campaign. Google Ads search campaign is by far the most important campaign and the most effective campaign when it comes to any local business and honestly, any ad campaign in general on Google. It always starts with a search campaign because search is the most intent-based marketing campaign that you can run to target people that are searching for your exact product or service right at the time that they're most interested to buy, right? And so for example, if you were to search for, right, massage therapy near me, okay? What you're gonna have, you're gonna have all these local businesses right here, and then you're gonna have some SEO results, and then you're gonna to start to see some promotion results like Thermia Spa right here. Now, normally there'll be ads right at the top, so in this case, it didn't show me ads right at the top here, but there's gonna be some ads as you kind of go throughout here. So as an example, if you wanted to do something like roofing near me and your roofing company, right, you would want to advertise on this keyword because it's super valuable for your business, obviously. Now, besides showing up in these uh, local business results, Google My Business results, and SEO results, which is right here, not sponsored, right? The ads are gonna show up right here, such as Alpha Roof, Integrity Roofing, Oak Bank Roofers. And then if you go on to next right here, you can see some other SEO driven terms right here. And then typically you'll see some other ads as they kind of pop up uh, throughout your search results. Okay, now as an example, let's say we are on the third page here. Let's say we're Rocka Roofing and we wanna get more roofing deals, more roofing businesses into our funnel so we can generate more leads and generate more sales ultimately filling up our workflow right that's what we want to do right so for a rock or roofing i'm just going to open this up and see what we have to work with right here so we have this page right here looks awesome super optimized lots of really good pages right here they have a request quote quote and a phone number page they have some awesome case studies and examples right here of roofs that they've done they have some google reviews right here as well of 186 reviews so they've done a lot of good work and this is the company that we want to get more leads and sales for, right? So what we're going to do, grab the link right there, come back to here in Google now. And again, we're going to want to create that search campaign. So I'm going to go new campaign right here. I'm going to go leads and I'm going to go continue. Now, the first thing you want to do is set up a conversion goal for your campaign. Now, a conversion goal is what Google uses to optimize your ads. So essentially it tracks when you generate an actual lead or a booking or a sale or something like that. Right, and it gives that conversion data back to Google so that you know, hey, my ad generated this lead, that means that my ads are valuable. And Google knows who actually generated that lead, what campaign, what ad set, what keyword, and it can better optimize your campaign so you get more conversions, more leads, and more sales ultimately. So if we wanna set up that audience targeting, what we're gonna to need to do is set up our conversion goals. Now, I'm gonna quickly glance through this, but it's a lot more complicated, or it can be. Um, it doesn't need to be that complicated, but uh, it will take you a little bit to set this up. So essentially you wanna come here to your conversions and then summary right here, and this is where you can create a new conversion action. Now, you're gonna to wanna to set up conversion events for your leads. So for this case, if we're doing rocker roofing, we're gonna to wanna to track this phone number, and then we're also gonna to wanna to track this conversion page right here when somebody submits this lead form right here. So in order to track the phone number, I would recommend using something like CallRail. This is what we use to track all phone call leads coming in for our Google Ads. So you're gonna to wanna to start a free trial and hook this up and connect this to your Google Ads and set up a phone number to replace this phone number to essentially track everybody who calls that phone number and that will mark it as a call, right? It's gonna track that call for you, and then it's gonna send that as a conversion event to Google Ads. So that's the first thing on how to track the phone number, then how to track the request quote. What I would do is ultimately connect a app to your WordPress site or your Webflow site or whatever, and then create the app via a form, which then implements that into a CRM and also sends that data back to Google using something like Zapier to track that conversion goal, right? And so you're gonna to wanna to import both of those, so then you can track your request quotes and you can track your phone calls both as lead events. So like I said, I was gonna speed through that. 
it can take a little bit to actually go ahead and set that up properly. But assuming you have that set up, that's where you're going to want to come back to here and create a lead campaign for your local business. And you're going to have your conversion goals right here. Now, when you go on continue right here, you're going to want to click on search campaign and then you're going to want to click on website visits. So you have phone calls as well. If you primarily want to get phone calls from your ads, uh, that is totally fine. You could do a phone call ad right here, but I would recommend doing a website visit campaign and you can also do both, right? So I'd recommend doing a phone call and a website visit campaign if you have a phone number and you want to optimize for both. So again, we have rocker roofing. I'm going to implement that. So right there, also going to grab their phone number, Canada, put that in right there. And then we are going to go ahead and click on submit for that. You can also do a lead form submissions, but I'm not going to do that via Google ads. I'm just going to do website visits and then phone calls right here. Go on and click continue. Then you're going to want to name your campaign. So I'm going to name this rocker roof, roofing keywords. And then actually I'm going to name this search roofing keywords and then name this rocker roof. Awesome. So I'm going to go next right here and then start a new campaign. So we're going to want to focus on conversions. You can also do conversion value clicks or impression share. Uh, conversion value you don't want to worry about, but if you have a higher value conversions for leads, you'd want to focus on that. Uh, that's more advanced. So I'm just going to click on conversions here. Maximize the number of leads that you generate. Uh, next, what we're going to do right here is go ahead and click on next. If you want to set a target cost per action, you have the option to do this later. This essentially sets a target for what you want to pay per lead. So if you know what uh, lead value you're willing to pay for, and that's a good cost per acquisition for that lead value for you, then you can implement that and put that right here. But I recommend starting out with just conversions, figure out what your average cost per lead is by getting you know a month, two months worth of data. And then you can set a target cost per action so that it keeps your CPA around that target and you don't spend over that. So I'm just gonna deselect that and click on next. You're gonna see here you have the search network, including Google search partners, and then you have the display network, including Google display network. So I would recommend turning off the display network because you don't want to show ads on display and you also don't want to show ads that look really bad on display that aren't like on brand and for your business. So um, honestly, turning on display, it just kind of spends your money and wastes it a little bit. You want to just focus on very high intent, high value keywords for your business. And then you can also include Google search partners, which are other networks within Google's suite of products. So I'd recommend you can just leave this on, but uh, feel free to turn that off. It really doesn't make that big of a difference. And then you're gonna wanna narrow this down to your target location. So if I go back to Raka Roof right here, we can see they have their physical address is right here, 84 Penner Drive. So if I grab this address, I go back to Google Ads. What I can do is an advanced search right here and I can actually enter this in. Okay, so I'm actually gonna grab the postal code. That is what Google wants. So I'm gonna enter this postal code in right here. I am going to go radius. Okay, that's where I actually, I could have entered this address and that's what I meant to do. So, so if I enter in this address right here, I can do 84 Penner Drive, Manitoba, right here, include. We can do 20 miles around this area right here if that's what we wanna do. Or we could do 30, right, to get all of like the main city. So we can expand this further. Right now it's at 20 miles. So we can go to 30 miles right here, get more of the city. And we can actually do even more than that. Let's say we wanna go to... 40, right? Then we can get all of this right here and that's what we're willing to work out of, right? And we won't go any further than that. Now, if we wanted to do not around our radius, what we could do is just enter in our city and we could just do just around the city and all surrounding locations. But this is pretty good. You'll get some of the rural area that other places might not get. Um, and that's what we'll do to kind of advertise around that local area. So in that case, that's what we'll add in. I'm gonna go down right here. We have our languages as English. We have our audience segments right here. Select an audience to add to your campaign. You don't want to select any audiences because this is a search campaign. We're going to be adding in keywords that are highly relevant to search terms that people are searching for that want roofs right now. So we're also going to turn off broad match. We don't want to do that. We're going to go more settings right here. And what we are going to do is not change any of this. We are good to go to the next step right here. Now we have rocker roofing right here. So we can describe our product or service right here. So what I'm gonna do is just look this up, rock a roof. And what I typically do here is I just grab the meta description right here and I'll go ahead and enter this in to Google Ads. So it gives us a lot of different keywords. And then we're gonna go ahead and generate our ads using Google as AI. This just helps us generate ads a lot faster. Okay, now we're gonna go roofing companies. Okay, now as you can see, we have some different keywords right here. We have roofing companies, roofing services, best roofing, Roofing contractor, roofing repair, roofing and siding, roofing instruction, etc. Now, what I would recommend to do a bit more of an advanced strategy right here is we want to go back to the main Google Ads library right here, back to here. And what we're going to want to do is go to tools 
right here on the left. And then we're going to want to go to Keyword Planner to figure out what keywords we want to actually focus on and target and segment those keywords out by ad group so that we are targeting specific keywords in specific ad groups that's all segmented out properly. So we know what keywords actually convert the best for us. Actually, I'm going to go discover new keywords. That's what I want to do. I'm going to enter in that local area that we targeted. I'm just going to enter in Winnipeg. Okay, save that. And then what I'm going to do, go ahead and grab the website right here. I'm going to enter that website in. I'm going to start with the website here, get results. Okay, and now you can see we have all of these different keywords and we have the forecast for all of them as well. So we can see the competition here. You can see the average monthly searches in that area that we're targeting in Winnipeg, in this case. See the average monthly searches and we can see all of these different things. So we have metal roofing, then you have roofing companies near me, roof repair, right? A bunch of different things that we can target here that all have fairly low impression share, right? So one, 10 to 100, right? And the cost per click range is about $2 to about $10 on average for some of these things. So if we want to add in all of these, we can get an estimate of what our campaign is actually going to look like before we even create the campaign. So if we go roofing companies near me, roofers near me, roof repairs near me, let's go roof repair, roof contractor, roof replacement cost, roofing companies, best roofing companies, roofing contractor, roofers in my area, best roofers near me, roofing companies with payment plans near me, Let's go roof replacement, roof estimate, roofing quotes, and let's leave it at that. So we have 15 keywords right here. What we can do is add keywords to create a plan. Boom. And so from there, we can go to forecast right here. We can go to this, all my saved keywords right here. And now it's going to show us once we narrow this down back to Winnipeg, remove that, go save. Boom. We can actually get an estimate and a forecast of exactly what we should spend and how much leads we're going to generate. So if we have an average click through rate of 5%, which is pretty low, our average cost per click is going to be 40 cents per click right here if we're spending only five dollars a day and if our conversion rate on that is about let's say one percent and our value per conversion is about ten thousand dollars but what we can see is about a hundred and fifty dollars per acquisition to generate about ten thousand dollars at a 66 ROAS with 102 clicks right now that's a pretty generous conversion rate I don't know if that's a true conversion rate so we can see if we were to actually go ahead and spend right fifty dollars every single day right what we can see is we would spend about $720 to generate a new conversion, about $22,000 in conversion value at a 14 ROAS, we about 217 clicks and about 5.9 thousand uh, impressions, right? And then we get about 1.6 thousand in spend, click through rate is about 3.7%, our cost per click goes up to about $7.16. So as you can see, the numbers do change quite a bit. So if we drop that back down to 25, I'm gonna look at our clicks right here. And we can see we're kind of getting into that sweet spot for Winnipeg targeting right here, where if we spend about $25, we're kind of getting onto that higher end of the slope. The more you spend, you don't necessarily get a more of a return, right? The sweet spot might be around $12 a day to maximize your reach and maximize your overall profit. So you can see our ROAS right now is at about $23. If I was, or about 23, so 23X return. If I drop this to about $20, it's see we're at about 27 return average CPA to get two roofing deals per month, right? At a 1% conversion rate, we would spend about $370 to get each roofing deal. We generate about $17,000 at a 27X ROI, about 168 clicks, 5,000 impressions. We'd spend $620 in a month and our cost would be about $3.69, right? And so that's a good estimate for what we should do right here. And so what I typically do is I take this and all the kind of insights there and I add these keywords in and so I would segment these normally based on all of these keywords, but I'm just going to uh, add all of these in just to make this a lot simpler right here. And so what I'll do, I'll just copy these over right here. And I'm going to put brackets around these or like quotations around these actually, so that it is phrase match, right? Meaning that we'll only advertise on keywords that are pretty much exactly like what is being shown right here with words that are very, very similar. So I'm just going to go ahead and add all these in. Okay, boom. So we've added in all of these keywords right here. They're all set to phrase match, right? Meaning we're only going to advertise pretty much for these exact keywords right here. And this is looking really good. So we're going to do roofing keywords right here. Now we've already determined based on this plan right here that the optimal budget for us is about $20 per day. So knowing that, we'll go ahead and update that budget right here. If we go back to campaign settings, budget's actually on this next step right here. So as you can see, it's gonna give us an estimate of what we should do right here. So it's gonna say about $24 per day is about optimal. I'm gonna set this right at $20, okay? And I'm gonna go back to our keyword and assets right here. Okay, so now what it's gonna get us to do is to add in our actual roofing quotes right here or our roofing keywords that we have so that we can show up for those terms and match them. 
So what I would recommend doing is adding in the headlines to match all of these. So roofing quotes, where we have roofing contractors, I'm gonna say get your roof fixed. And typically I fill all of these up, right? And so what I do typically, the first five headlines, I focus on keywords that match up with what we did there. So I pin these to number one, match these up with the keywords that you targeted, right? So other things, right, are roofing quotes, get a roof quote, right? And then I have roof repair, okay? So I'll do all of that right here, and that will be my position one. Next I'll do in position two, and then I'll actually I'll, what I'll also do as well, I'm gonna do Raka roofing as well in position one. Next in position two, I'm gonna do the benefits right here of our roofing company, right? So what makes our roofing company the best, right? So I'm gonna say the number one peg roofers, the fastest turnaround time, let's say is one, right? The get the best price, priced roof, roofing made simple and easy, right? And let's say those are all our position twos. And then position three, this is gonna be our CTA, which is gonna be get a quote or give us a phone call. So I'm gonna say get a free quote, call to get a quote, speak to our team today, right? And that's essentially what I would do. Then you can add in a few more if you want, and then we are good to go. So I'm gonna add in, let's say I wanna add in one more position one roof, near me okay then we can go ahead and add in our descriptions right here so for descriptions it's pretty straightforward you can go ahead and add in again things like this right so i'm going to go ahead and copy this paste this in right here right and i'm just going to go servicing winnipeg right you would want to add in 90 character descriptions to each of these and make those unique then you can also add in a business name and logo so make sure to go ahead and do that you can add in some site links as well which your site links are other links to your thing so i'd add in your portfolio for example so I'm going to add in one site link right here, right? Add in portfolio. And then what I'm going to do is just say Raka Roofing, browse our roof portfolio, Raka Roof Portfolio. Okay, boom. So we can add that in. Now we have a site link there as well. And then what we can do is some call outs too. So let's say call now, right? That's a call that we can do. And we can see that's going to show up right there. It's going to say call now right at the end, which is great. And then we can also add in our phone number as well right here. So if I wanted to add that in for Rocker Roof, go ahead and grab this phone number right here, paste that in. I'm gonna go back to Canada right here and I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Boom, now we can add that in as a phone number right here. And you can see, look at our ad, it is all ready to go. Rocker Roofing, get the best priced roof. Calling our phone number, we have our description right there. We're targeting all very relevant keywords. We have the optimal budget, the optimal keyword strategy. We are ready to go to launch this campaign. Go next, we have that $20 budget. We can go ahead and launch this campaign and publish this so it's good to go. So there you go. That is how to set up a Google ad campaign for a local business to generate results as soon as possible. And just so you know this works, here's an example of some other companies that we've helped with Google Ads to generate them amazing results. As an example, here's a company that we work with where we spent $275,000 over the last couple of years and we've generated them over 3,000 leads, almost 4,000 leads. That's resulted in well over a million dollars in actual revenue for this company. I think well over like $3 million in revenue in this one Google ad account. Here's another example of a more local company where we spent $85,000 and we've generated a cost per lead of $33 on average. And let's see how many conversions generated in total. Generated about 2.5 thousand leads for this company. And you can see we've scaled this up since we started working with them to where they're generating a ton more leads per month on average. And overall, they are generating so much revenue from Google ads and it's all super simple, super automated. And as a last example, here's another company, a med tech startup company that we've helped with Google ads spent $250,000 generating a cost per lead of about $14. And in total, we've generated them over 16,000 leads, again, resulting in millions and millions of dollars in revenue for this company. So that's how to set up Google ads. That is the quick and simple way, beginner guide. Go ahead and set up campaigns just like this and you're gonna see immediate results, generate immediate leads and sales for your business and hopefully take care of that customer acquisition problem. Now, if you have any issues with this, let me know in the comments. Happy to answer all of those questions. And if you did enjoy the video, please leave it a like. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.